Hello there and welcome. I am Mitchell from Synthetic Sound Studio and today I'm going to be doing behind the score except a bit differently. Um, I'm actually just going to be composing a song completely for you guys and yeah, um, I just got a request from, I forget the exact name of the person, but it'll, it's just like a 30 second song, a uh, very dark, like a ominous theme. So, yeah, I decided, you know, might as well do it on this, because it shouldn't take me too long to make. And, yeah, so here we go. Um, what I had in mind was a lot of choir, like very dark, big choirs. So, what I'm going to do, as you can see, I'm adding like four different choirs here. Now, these... Um, these are pretty much going to sound exactly the same. However, it'll just add a bit more oomph to it. So I want four choirs. Uh, this one's going to be that way, or completely centered. And this one's going to be 50 to the left. This one's going to be 50 to the right. And piano roll. <laughs> This is the main theme that I've come up with, which is this. Alright, so it's gonna lower the tempo a bit. I'm also going to raise the release on this so that way the transitions are a bit more seamless. I'm also going to lower the tempo a bit, probably to 96. currently about 15 seconds long, so I'm going to need to double this length. So it's in general going to be just about 12 measures long, which is going to be pretty simple to do. So that is about the complete length that I'm going to want to make this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add it to everyone. I'm going to lower the volume of all those a tad. Just going to get rid of these middle two because I don't like the way they necessarily sound. Also, going to get rid of this one. So. For these ones, I'm just going to stack them up to make some chords. Typically major or minor. Uh, D is F. Alright, so those are all those done. I'm going to add some underlying. So I'll just add this here to make it a bit better. What I did right there is just 
making that a bit quieter as you can see these levels are a bit less because I want this to be the main melody and the lower part just to be you know a bit more <laughs> sounds good I'm going to add what I think will sound good on top of this I'm just gonna place this out here as well another thing I'm gonna do real quick is assign a free mixer track assign a free mixer track and then add this one out to mixer track 3 and in this go ahead to do pretty reverb 2 uh, and if you go one to the right that's the cathedral setting <laughs> As you can hear right there, it gives a nice big ring to it. Um, so yeah, that's all I'm going to do for that. And on this one, I will probably just do the same, except make the room size a bit smaller and a bit less moist. Alright. So, now that I have those down... <laughs> horn solo is a lot softer and the horn sustain a lot harsher of a tone. So what I'm gonna do. As you can see right here what I'm gonna do. This is gonna be just a uh, counterpoint to make this a bit more interesting. Um, it's not too complex, it's very simple. I'll, that short chord is probably going to change. <laughs> So right here, what I'm doing is just making it a bit more interesting, adding a bit more motion to it. It's not the same notes over and over again. And let's hear how that sounds. <laughs> Alright, that sounds good. I'm going to quickly duplicate this. And I'm also going to add it over into the horn sustain. And... thinking of a good melody right here. So you don't want it, I don't want it to be too major, I want it to be relatively minor. So fifth of D. A. See how that sounds. I just can see what I'm doing right here. I'm just octaving it making it up an octave, give it a bit fuller of a sound, um, how does it look? Yeah, it looks fine. And what I'm going to do here real quick, uh, press enter to... Alright, so, yeah, what I just did, basically, went edit events and piano roll, and made this look 
as natural as possible because I don't want it to be too mechanical, you know. Um, so yeah, here we go. Um, and what I'm going to do is... <laughs> getting a bit loud so I'll lower the master volume and I will also do the similar thing on this one except I will not make it the same this one will be pretty constant with the steep crescendo at the end and as you can see here I added some cellos and some basses basically what I'm going to do here is add the chords to double the singer. Um, in the basses, I'm going to do basically the same thing. cellos real quick is a uh, fracture out some chords so there's a B and a D sharp I believe yep. and then in D we have A sharp which I want to replicate and there's that Actually, then, let's go like that, and it'll sound pretty good. Um, what I'm going to do here, I'm not going to copy this exactly, but I am going to do this. Extend that. Make that chord sustain all the way through. All right, let's hear that sounds. I'm gonna do yeah. is where is that? Oh, there. Okay, that total length is about thirty three seconds. That's good. And that is the do not want that there. One thing. Um, I'm actually just going to get the third real quick. Of G is F sharp. Ah, sorry. B. I cannot do a B on this. So I will outline that. And do a D sharp. There. Um, G sharp there. And that up there. Right. So I believe that's just about it. If I into here, close, as you can see. have the entire song pretty much laid out now and let's hear how that sounds <laughs>
So yeah, that's about all I do when I make a song, really. So yeah, if you're the one that sent me a request for a song, here you go, here's your song. I'll probably add a bit more to it to make it, you know, spice it up a bit, but that's basically all I do. Um, probably add a bunch more effects. Um, like this, I would probably add a sign for your script track, one, two, three, four, and then, where is it? Four strings, and then I might also add a free reverb too, go to Cathedral, except just lower that by a bit, and if I go solo, <laughs> all I do when I make a song. Uh, yeah. So, hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.